Hey guys and welcome to Words Scale. So in this video I am presenting a brand new approach to AI writing that will give you unique standout articles that will rank on Google. My previous workflow, this one here, the Perplexi AI programmatic SEO hack was received very well and since then it's been backed by the results. So this is one of my websites and I've started using my programmatic SEO approach here and I've done nothing but that approach. As you can see I actually grew to 500 sessions per day from the low of 137 sessions, so almost five times the growth. And this workflow is already in my school community. They both are this one and the new one. I've slashed the prices in half, so this school community is extremely affordable. You get my helpful content mastery course as well as the updated niche hunter course, so I've recorded heaps of new material for that. You also get a lot of custom tools, group coaching, and much, much, much more, so see you there. Okay, so we need to start somewhere. Let's start with uh, the keywords. This is not a video on keyword research, so let's just pick something that I used in my previous video, which is AI in the workspace 2025. And the first stage of this workflow is using deep search inside of Perplexity. And we'll be using Perplexity R1 for that. So let's go to Perplexity. Let's switch R to R1. If you are not a pro user, you can use the deep search feature, which is pretty good as well. Not as good as the R1. But you get five tries per day, I believe, on a free tier. So this is the prompt. And this is basically asking to generate a comprehensive report. So once again, R1 is extremely good at research. It's double -checking checking itself and this is part of this prompt. So before creating any reports in Perplexity I ask the AI to double check itself and to audit the sources based on a few criteria that I have. Okay, the state of AI in the 2025 workspace. Autonomous AI agents take center stage. Workforce transformation accelerates. AI driven productivity surge. The rise of AI augmented employees. Okay, and it's given us a source audit. Okay, let's copy this. I'll paste this into my own Perplexity EA formatter to get rid of all of the citations and references. I'll paste this back in minus the source audit report that I just need to make sure everything is accurate. And this is the kind of information we are going with. I would have gotten much more information if it was 2024 instead, but we're just going off of what's the newest. Okay, so let's consult with our workflow real quick. So the second stage is expansion. The purpose of this stage is to create a multifaceted opinion piece, and we need to go to Google LM for that. This is a free resource. Let's choose copy text. Let's click on insert. And now what I want to do, I want to create a podcast, but I want to customize it first. And I'm customizing this in a very specific manner. So let me copy the keyword. I'm customizing this in a way that the podcast is focusing on contrasting opinions, intriguing angles, novel insights, and engaging topics. And I'm making sure that there is a heavy focus on data, statistics, and case studies. So let's hit generate. Okay, Noble Clam has generated a podcast. Let's take a listen. Buckle up, everybody, because today we are diving headfirst into the future of work, the 2025 workplace. Yeah, the future is now. It really is, huh? Yeah. We've got reports filed high here, Gartner World Economic Forum, Microsoft, and they're all saying the same thing. Uh-oh. AI is changing everything. Is that right? Okay. So it looks fantastic. What we should do now is the preparation stage. All it means is that we need to save our podcast download it like so. Then I'll actually create a brand new notebook, upload this as a source, and all we need to do is just choose the previously saved podcast, and Notebook LM will actually give us a transcript. So if we go in here, this is the whole transcript. Okay, so we can save it, and I'll call this AI in the workspace. Okay, next step is the article outline. And here you can use whatever, you can use ChatGPT, you can use Claude, you can use Perplexity. The only thing that I usually do, I want to create a closed system, so to speak. So I don't want any interference from web at all. So this is the prompt. Let me switch it back to, let's actually try ChatGPT with its O3 mini high, but you use again Claude, anything. This is a prompt. Basically, I'm giving instructions on how to, this is our keyword, on how to create an outline. And I'm asking the AI whether it understands the commands. And since we can use attachments with O3 Mini High now, this presents us with an amazing opportunity we didn't have before. Yes, I understand your requirements. 
I will create an SEO optimized outline for an article on AI in the Workspace 2025 that follows the F-shaped reverse pyramid pattern, and this is very important. It's one of the things that I've started doing for better readability. So basically it means that the most important information is in the beginning, and the least important information is in the end, forming a pyramid, a reverse pyramid. The outline will include a title with a long tail target keyword, an engaging introduction, under 100 words, using the primary keywords, and blah blah blah. Okay. So let's attach the document. Go ahead with the outline based on the above requirements and the attached document. Okay, this is our outline. The future of AI in the workspace, key statistics, impact on the workspace, job creation versus automation, enhancing productivity and operational efficiency, AI-driven workplace safety, strategies for successful AI adoption, embracing the AI-powered future, which serves as a conclusion. So all we have to do now is write the actual article. Let's paste this in. And this is basically says, look at the above outline, take into consideration the information that I had shared with you and write an article. And I have certain things that I want, like uh, a Flash King Kate readability level, a storytelling approach. Okay, this is our article. Let's copy the output. Okay, as you can see, a short introduction, then an overview, lots of statistics, nicely done, impact on the workspace, Enhancing productivity, how does it work, personal example, benefits, beautiful. So this is actually 3300 words, a readability level of 9. And since we've decided to use ChatGPT, what you can do is go to, go back, choose another model, like GPT-01, and convert the embed the below into canvas and of course canvas presents unique opportunities like you can adjust the length you can adjust the reading level add final polish add emojis so if you if you thought that readability grade 9 was too much i don't because i think it suits this topic perfectly but if you wanted to make adjustments you could just decrease readability and there you have it guys so an amazing amazing way to write unique articles that are highly factual that are written in a way that it follows the natural reading patterns and has very unique angles that you won't get anywhere so once again this workflow has already been uploaded to school go check it out let me know if you have any questions and i'll see you next time cheers